to say anything. Lacey, I just want you to know that it has meant a lot to us as a family to keep up with what's been going on with you. You have been a hero to us, an encouragement, such a blessing. We have laughed with you, rejoiced with you. We have cried and felt your sorrow. I think I even had sympathy pains for you from time to time. It means a lot to us. We are so encouraged by the news we have just heard uh, that you're possibly getting out of the hospital today. We are blessed by that and encouraged by it and want to encourage you by letting you know how much we love you and uh, miss you guys. Uh, Jeremy, thank you for your testimony. Thank you for being a husband that stands by his wife, devoted and committed with all your heart. It is obvious through all the trials that you guys have gone through that y'all love each other and that in itself is a wonderful testimony uh, to so many who are following the blog and YouTube and the other things. Uh, we thank you and we love you. We miss Elise, Miss Cindy. Uh, we're, we'll be so glad when you guys come back. I led the singing, Carol played the piano, but it just wasn't the same. We need you back bad. <laughs> we, uh, uh, Lacey, I, I just want to say, I have never hugged a pretty girl without a pancreas, and I was wondering when you get back, I could get a hug from you. That's just one thing I've never done in my life, so, uh, <laughs> anyway. We love you guys, we miss you, and we're praying for you, and we just can't wait to see you. We love y'all, and we miss you, and it's just been wonderful. This whole thing and seeing what people are doing, it's just a wonderful testimony. Just something to learn from, how everyone has acted through all of it. And it's been a great blessing and we have rejoiced with y'all and we're so glad about the news that you're getting out of the hospital today the Lord willing well I don't know what to add to what everybody else has said other than just um, we do love you and we're praying for you and um, we're collecting pecans for pecan pies and Caleb was ready to make it the day before the surgery but I told him it would be stale so um, <laughs> Uh, and he, he has said more than once, I can't stand it not seeing Elise and Lacey any longer. But uh, we're excited that you're coming uh, to, out of the hospital today, Lacey. And um, we're just um, praying for you, Cindy and, and Jeremy, and, and thankful for your testimony. And um, can't wait till y'all are home in Wiggins. <clears throat> Lacey, one more thing I just thought of. Be careful about eating too much. You might begin to start looking like other folks around here, okay? <laughs> well, I just want to say that I've felt really blessed by knowing y'all and really missed y'all and I kind of miss piano lessons too, Cindy. I really do. And I guess that's all. Megan wanted to say one thing. It won't be the same. Okay, tell her. Listen, listen. That you're a brother, Morgan. Tell her we love uh, her. Oh, one more thing. Lucy, I gotta tell you one thing about um, old yours, she thinks they're hot, they're mad. And they hurt old yours. And she thinks like that. Oh, okay. This hot, I mean, I'm hot again. <laughs> He eat him on his leg. I don't keep him out of you, I promise. All right. We love you, Lacey. <laughs> <laughs> Lacey, um, I just am overwhelmed with joy at you being able to get back to the hotel. And I told some in there earlier that my... Uh, 
my gut instinct is to drop everything and just drive up there and sit in the hotel and look at you. But uh, obviously I'm not able to do that. But uh, know that we love you, we miss you. Uh, Jeremy, Cindy, Elise, um, that hill is so empty and lonely without y'all and we can't wait for you to get back. Lacey, I want you to rest, don't overdo it, and rest up real well and go listen to John Piper next Sunday because you will need a lot of energy to listen to his sermons. So, you guys, I love you, I'm praying for you, and uh, just so looking forward to you being back.